In this video, we're gonna be using Sterling Haverford and the MAG-T Delta Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And in this video, Sterling Week continues, and today we're gonna to be using Haverford. And this is a really nice uh, scent inspired by Tom Ford Tobacco uh, Vanilla. And we'll show you the way it's described right there. There is a look at the soap. It is very, very dark, as you can see, and it's quite soft um, to the touch as well. Scent strength on this one is um, well within the realm of medium, I would say. It's quite stout. It's a beautiful, um, warm vanilla and, and tobacco uh, scent. This is a tallow-based soap. We'll show you the ingredients right there. Again, good quality stuff. I always get great lathers and great shaves from Sterling. It comes to you at an exceptional price, $13.75 for 5.8 ounces or $2.37 on our cost chart right there, which is exceptional. And we look forward to using it today. The razor for today is a very interesting razor. <laughs> it is a odd looking razor. Uh, some might find it attractive. Some certainly will not. This is the Mag-T Delta razor, which is designed in Canada and made in India. It is a modern production razor. You can get this at Shave Nation from uh, Geo Fat Boy or Mag T. And it uses a magnet to hold the head on, and that is about a four pound pull. And they shipped it with the Astra SP blade, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use it with an Astra SP blade today. And what I'm gonna do is load the blade onto the base plate. And as you can see, there are no threadings or anything on here. And it just sticks right on there open comb and then the cap will just kind of puts itself on and there you have your blade exposure which looks like there's a, a fair amount so well i have no idea how this will shave very very heavy this is uh five ounces is probably heavier than any other razor i own it's around 49.99 or so is the price made of a uh, zinc alloy if you're curious about that. So we look forward to using this today. I do encourage you to go to their website and read some of the marketing. It is, it's very interesting uh, to say the least. Like one of the things I read, I'll read it right here. Powerful flux around the head enhances molecular bonding to uh, sort of help with the blade in some way. I, I don't know. Um, free flowing, futuristic, integrated design ensures maximum control, comfort, and seamless shaving experience. You got to go read the marketing around this razor. It's, um, it's somewhat entertaining, I would say, and they have a uh, terms of use on this razor. I have never seen anything like it. Go to the website and check out the terms of use. It's just a big, long uh, bunch of conditions, and I'm like, holy mackerel. This <laughs> it's, a, it's kind of a, a weird experience all around, but if it's a good shaver, you know, what the heck. Uh, in the instruction also, I will mention it says, um, uh, where is it? Never shave across the face shaving area. I don't know if that means they don't want you to go like this or they don't want you to go like this because you know I'm going like this, but I don't know. I mean, it's just kind of a strange uh, um, experience if you read the mark <laughs> around the, the razor, but we're gonna use it. We're gonna have fun with it and we'll, we'll see how it goes. This is just plain water and I wanna remind everybody the links for the products, everything I'm using today will be below. I can't tell you the number of comments that I'll get that says, where do I get this or that? Look below the video, it's there. I spend a lot of time putting it there. Please look below the video at the links if you're interested. Okay, I'm gonna have some Sterling Guatemalan coffee here and the uh, Yeti mug. And, and the reason I'm using this instead of the BBS mug is uh, it just keeps it uh, hot longer. And I like my coffee hot. I don't like my beer warm though. <laughs> anyway, we won't get into that today. Anyway. The brush for today is the Turn and Shave with the Cashmere Knot. And we have what looks like, kind of like a uh, chocolate, light chocolate mousse almost in color and consistency. Really nice scent. Uh, from my perspective, I really like the, the scent of this soap. Again, inspired by Tom Ford. And do I worry about the, uh, the color of the soap staining the knot? No, not really. Uh, I'm not really concerned about it. If you have a badger that's very light, I know some, some people worry about that, but it's really not of current concern with me. If it happened to stain it light brown, then it'll just be light brown. I'm not really too worried about that. Some people do, and that's okay. It's your stuff, you know, enjoy it the way you like and protect it as you see fit. As you can see here, or at least I hope you can see, no problem on the 
on the lather in front, there's plenty of hydration in this uh, lather, which will make it quite slick. Hydration, as we've been saying early and often on the channel, is the key to slickness. I want to remind everybody, this coming Friday, So Sharp David and I will have Shane from Blackland Razors on the show. We'll put up the slide right there. So if you have any questions for Blackland Razor and anything goes, question-wise, um, please comment below and I'll add them to the list. That should be a very good time and I hope to see you all there. But if you don't make it, I will air it the following day on YouTube. So always uh, look there if you happen to miss the show. Okay, let me rinse my handle here a little bit and then we will cut this part down. We'll, we'll get going with the mag T and see uh, what type of shave it will give us today. Again, um, some people say this is a futuristic design to me it looks like for me in terms of futuristic this reminds me of what we would have thought in the 60s or 70s futuristic would be you know what i mean it almost has a vintage sort of look it reminds me of something like a, on the original star trek they might you know what i mean that sort of futuristic so the first few strokes there feels pretty doggone good i must say um Nice and smooth. I'm getting some blade feel, but not, not a ton. That actually feels pretty good, honestly. First few strokes. Rinsing is a little unusual. Um, there's no, you know, well, there is some lather channels down there, but I didn't see the water coming beneath it. I thought the handle might feel a little wonky, but honestly, the main thing I think you'll have to be aware of with this razor is just the weight. It's very heavy. It feels fairly efficient. Um, I wouldn't call it the most blade feely of razors, but you can feel some blade feel. Actually feels pretty decent in the hand. I would call this firmly within the, um, medium realm in terms of aggression. It doesn't feel super aggressive. Now, one of the things about these, um, these razors with the big footprint is when you're rinsing them, a lot of water drips off all over the place compared to something that's a little more slim. They tend to collect a little more water, so be mindful of that. It does feel fairly um, efficient, so that's good. It's good for me. This is definitely definitely not your Feather ASD2 mild. To me, it feels firmly medium. But keep in mind, my medium might be aggressive for you because I like some blade feel. So I, I'm thinking this one is... Uh, well within that medium range. Actually feels quite smooth. It is a better shaving razor than I expected, honestly, because the experience with this, in terms of, if you spend some time on their website, it just comes across kind of weird. <laughs> you know, just some of the claims, I'm like, I don't know about that. I mean, look, I just call it like I see it. And when I see some, some of the claims, I'm like, uh, I don't know about that, but. The shave it's delivering so far, I think is pretty good actually. I'm pleasantly surprised. It is a little heavy, or it's a lot heavy actually. This is this is definitely gonna be a heavy razor probably compared to what you're, you're using, but I would say that first pass was, uh, shaving wise, that was a pretty good first pass. So we will proceed and go for our second pass, which will be across the grain. And that they do say don't go crossways and again i'm not sure maybe if that's a misunderstanding or they literally don't want you to go um across the grain or sideways um but for me that's part of my routine it's my shave i shall do it my way and if something goes wrong it's my fault of course because they're but i thought that was strange and i think geo and jeffrey smith also used this right they kind of pointed that out as well that just the um some of the documentation around this razor is just, it's kind of fun in a weird sort of way. <laughs> um, I don't know, it's just, uh, I find it a little unusual if you go and read the website and I go look at that terms of use. I mean, I've never seen anything like it on a shaving page that I can recall ever. Like, it's like they got a bunch of lawyers and wrote a bunch of, <laughs> it, it was just, it was strange. It, it, there was things like, you know, we're not responsible if there's if the website's not up to date or the information is wrong and just a, 
all sorts of stuff on there. It's just sort of, it was entertaining for me. It sort of fits the razor, which is also sort of unconventional and unusual. Um, everything about this is unusual. And in some ways, that's a, that's a pleasant thing because it gives you <laughs> something sort of new to look at. It's almost like a Twilight Zone sort of <laughs> thing. All right, let's get going because we're like 10 minutes in. One thing I will say is um, you need to be, be careful with your hands because I was gripping it up there and it was slipping and they show it being gripped right here, but I don't like to grip my razors that far down. I like to hold it more by the sides here. And so we will go across the grain because that's the way we shave. And I need to pick up the pace here a little bit because I'm yammering and and not shaving, but uh, this is sort of a, I don't know, it's, it's kind of fun just to do something a little different. It's a good shaver though, I would say so far. It's just heavy. If you are, uh, I tell you right now, if you are averse to heavy razors, you will not want to look in this direction because this one is very, very heavy. Very, very heavy. So it will not be for you if you don't like heavy razors. That, I can help you with that right out of the gate. If you do really like stainless steel and heavy razors, you might very much like this. If you, if you want even more weight, the shave is actually pretty good. I mean, surprisingly good. I, I actually expected it to be sort of weird, but the actual shave is pretty good. And where I'm rinsing this under hot water, I can sort of feel the... Uh, there's so much metal here, it's kind of warming it up and I can feel it in the handle. It's kind of pleasant to tell you the truth. It's not a, um, this is not a shave that's not enjoyable. It's it's en pretty enjoyable. Um, razor's probably a little heavier than I like, but it is doing a, um, a really good job with the shave and the blade feels smooth in it. Feels really smooth, actually really nice and so, We'll continue plugging with it and see see how it goes. The soap today, Sterling. Of course, this is Sterling Week here on the IMCDB channel. We are collaborating. There was a chunk of soap in there that I failed to lather. Um, we're collaborating with Mel and Nate from BBS Live on Sterling Week. So don't forget, um, use your Sterling. Tag me. Yesterday, I pointed out my uh, IMCDB face Facebook page. We'll put it again there for you. Like that page and tag me on it when you use your Sterling, if you're on Facebook or if you're on Insta, you can find me there, Twitter, all that stuff is below too. I always have that information there. And again, I keep reiterating that that stuff is below, but the reason why I keep reiterating is because people always ask me questions that are answered below. And so it'll save you some time just to look there and the links will be there for you. And um, a good bit of effort goes into providing that information. So I hope you'll take advantage of it. And my social media information, all that. Sometimes I'll even be asked by people, what's, what's an email address? And I'm like, it's below. It's been below for years. <laughs> and I add a little more hydration here. You can never really, well, actually you can't have too much hydration, but I like to make sure I got plenty. I would say with this razor, um, it's one of those that's so heavy that you will have to be careful to control the razor and not allow the heft to add to the amount of pressure that you're using because it's, again, five ounces, very heavy. This is a pretty decent shaver though, I have to say. I mean, I'm gonna, I was very entertained by the marketing of this razor and everything about the way it's advertised, but it's a good shaver to say that you got to go read the website though that's i don't think i've ever seen anything like it <laughs> you just have to see it um it's kind of fun so i would say so far it's been a pretty good experience with it is this going to be one of my favorite razors no i don't think so is it a good shaver yeah um and if this i would call this to me it's a retro futuristic design. And by that, I mean, once again, it's a, it would have been a futuristic design back in the sixties or seventies, like Star Trek original, you know, Captain Kirk and Spock sort of thing. 
um, that's what it reminds me of. Something, them thinking what the future would look like back from that time period. But it, to me, for today's time, it doesn't look particularly futuristic. It looks like retro futuristic, futuristic, you know, it looks like something Douglas Smythe would have on one of his soap labels. <laughs> It has provided for a good shave, though, and the magnets in it are very strong. Again, they advertise it's around four, four pounds of pressure to pull that top cap off. And it is quite stout. I don't think it's going anywhere. So if you're worried about that, um, you know, unless something happens to the magnets and their strength is somehow decreased, it's not going anywhere during the shave. Not, I don't think even if you were swinging it as hard as you could, which I don't recommend you do, but... If you were doing like that and trying to flip the uh, head off as hard as you could, I don't think it would come off. It's very firmly attached. And I would remind you, I've seen uh, Jeffrey Smith use this, so go check out his video. And again, these people I'm mentioning, they'll be below. I remember the other day I was mentioning uh, Justin the Red Island Shaver and his great video where he opened up and someone asked me, uh, where can I find him? And I'm like, below. <laughs> so if you've never seen that section, I invite you on your mobile phone. There might be an arrow. There might be a show more. Just hit it and you'll see all these links and stuff. And if you scroll down, you'll see all the channels I mentioned. Now and then I might forget something I mentioned, but I try to keep it in there for you and provide all the information to, to provide the maximum service to you. That way you can just, if you want something or if you want to see something I've talked about, it's there for you. That's why I do it. All right. That was actually a pretty doggone good shave with this, this thing. Uh, it's really not a bad shaver. Let me rinse and we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam we did a warm water rinse to remove the soap and then we applied the alum. I will say today, there was a little bit of a stinging. It wasn't a lot. So what I think happened was the weight of this razor just brought a little more blade than I'm used to, but otherwise it was a nice smooth shave. After the alum, we rinsed the face and then toweled off with our Lancaster towel and then used the magic made by Sterling. This is uh, Sterling's Witch Hazel with menthol and aloe. So there's a lot of good stuff in there. Today we use the Haverford uh, shaving soap by Sterling. It is Sterling Week. Remember, tag me in those Sterling posts on social media I wanna see. What you're using, we use the Mag-T Delta Razor. Unusual razor, which provided for a good shave. Like I said, I'll, I'll use this some more and then see how I take to it. Uh, very heavy, very unusual, but it did provide for a good shave. So good first run with it. Uh, we used our turning shave brush with uh, Cashmere Knot, and we shall finish it off today with Sterling Haverford, which is gonna have that beautiful um, tobacco, tobacco vanilla. Scent, I'm just gonna use a little bit because then my wife has to come in here. And this is pretty, pretty strong stuff. So please be aware of that. If folks are um, sensitive to fragrances, this aftershave packs a punch. All right, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you to shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.